guys in today's video I'm sharing with you all my recipe for a cream of wheat porridge this one was inspired by my mother-in-law's recipe and if you would like to see how to make this amazing breakfast dish let me share it with you okay guys to make this I'm gonna start by adding a little bit of ghee to my pot if you didn't have ghee you can use some butter I'm going in with two cinnamon sticks, two cloves, one star anise, and two bay leaves or bay rum leaves. These are called pimenta racemosa. You can find the plant on Etsy. I'm going in with some turmeric powder, which is totally optional. I just wanted to add a little more health benefits to this recipe. You see how a little pinch gets that water really, really yellow, so just a pinch. And now I'm going to go in with my cream of wheat and we're going to let that boil but you want to keep stirring it and make sure you have your stove on a low for this you don't want it to stick to the bottom and burn so we're gonna mix 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 we're not gonna add any sugar just yet see that beautiful light yellow color it has I don't know if you all can tell but it's really pretty so I'm gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes we want to make sure that the semolina or the farina grains are cooked okay guys after about eight minutes of cooking this is what it looks like if yours is getting tick really really quickly then I suggest adding in some water now to this I'm going to go in with some whole milk also known as tea fresh milk in Trinidad. <coughs> Give that a mix. Cough. Yes, you're coughing. Mm -hmm. Now you could only use whole milk if you wanted to, but I'm also going to go in with some evaporated milk, which is totally optional. Just a little bit. We're stretching our ingredients and some sweetened condensed milk. I don't want to add too much to get this too sweet. But you feel free to add as much or as little as you like when you're making it. So I'm going to give that a mix. Now I'm going to add in a pinch of cardamom powder. And I'm going to grate in some fresh nutmeg. Don't add too much to overpower it. You can always taste and adjust after. And I'm going to go in with some vanilla essence or extract, which is totally optional. I like mine to taste really decadent. And give it a mix. Ooh, this smells so good already. And you see the consistency of it? That's the consistency you're looking for. Now, if you were serving this right away, this is the consistency I go for. If I was serving this at a later time, what I would suggest is making it a little bit runnier. So by the time it cools, it's going to be the perfect consistency. Okay guys, I just tasted it. I think I just need a little bit of ginger in it. So I'm grating in some fresh ginger. Of course, if you didn't want that, you don't have to. I just love the flavor of ginger in it. And I'm going to give that a mix. And once it's mixed in, this is now ready. Perfectly creamy and delicious. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Comment, let me know if you like it. If you're new to my channel, I hope you subscribe. Please remember to share this video, give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you all in my next video. Stay safe, everyone. Bye.